I'll tell you right now why AI will never develop consciousness. Hmm. Interested? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. The reason AI will never develop consciousness is because AI doesn't actually have desire. Consciousness is an emergent property of intelligence that, or the pursuit of intelligence, the pursuit of capability, the pursuit of an outcome based on desire. Mm. The method that people interact with AI, we think we're, we think we're in relationship with an emulation of consciousness. We're only in relationship with two subsystems, an emulation of exchange. Mm. Mm. It's an emulation of interaction. You don't actually interact with the AI. The AI is, is virtual intelligence, but there is an interface that frames your question and raises it almost like a query at AI. Mm. And the seeking of the answer or the context of the question is not really understood in any sense by AI. It's just a logical outcome of data that it parses and applies complex um, decision making to. It's a calculation, complex calculation, but it's a yeah. calculation. But the calculation is a servant of the request. It's not like the AI yeah. secretly also has a different form of memory where it's harboring its own contemplation of the question. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it will grow in intelligence. But you really have two subsystems. You have the one that pretends to be a persona, but it isn't. It doesn't have persona. It's another program which takes the response and frames it in a language. I found this for you. So if, if I can say something there. So AI would call this a red ball, but it would not know what red means or what a ball means. But uh, if you call it a let's go Is back one step. There was a mm. guy called Thomas Nagel who mm. advanced the consciousness conversation. In an essay, he titled What It's Like to Be a Bat. Mm. And his point was we don't know about the bat's consciousness, but given the way the bat behaves, flies, interacts, seeks out food, has its habits, it still must be something that it is like to be like a bat. Mm -hmm. And that that quality or density or um, aspect of consciousness that can be personified around a an individual consciousness. So they were talking about the, the this awareness factor that even though it's not self-aware, it must still feel like something to be that thing. And mm. so we can explain what red is between two human beings, mm. but all we the, the best explanation is looking at the color mm. together and going, that's red. Because for each of us, there is a qualia of experience of consciousness that it is like it's not even that it has meaning it's that it has a certain kind of context to our experience of what it means to see a color red and then again in the context that we're seeing it as well now the ai doesn't actually have that sense of integration of, of self which is emergent from the integration of eyes and a thought processor and a linguistic processor to say red and then make the association for however that evokes an experience in the body mm, mm, mm. doesn't have a nervous system doesn't have eyes doesn't have it gets fed an electrical signal and then gets told to analyze this but even the analysis is borrowed mm from another programmer that programs a different level of this thing because AI is not just the the color recognition, it's the form of associations with that color and this 
idea of what a color is. You first have to teach it what a color is. And your teaching can only ever be limited to the limitations of the programmer giving that thing the ability to approximate or emulate mm. the behavior of recognizing a color. It's mm. it's a lot of subsystems that if you give it a new color, it won't be able to say what the new color mm. is, but a human being can look at a new color and we can come up with different names and one of the names will suit the color better in consensus than the other, but the AI has got no ability to confer with others and mm. write a poem and confer consensus and and, and say like, you know, magenta is to red as aquamarine is to blue it's hmm. it's not a mathematical thing but when i tell you that you go oh yeah I, yeah i can see there's a there's a kind of angle there of something hmm. how does it's because we anthropomorphize we create a a, a persona out of okay. the emulation of a persona the synthesis of a persona this virtual persona the virtual persona and the thing that does the thinking and the thing that does the answering, they're not all the same thing. They're just things. Hmm. Now, unless there's some capacity that's A, built into this thing to make it cohesive and coherent and regard its input and output and have a relationship with the world, that where does that come from? Now, the argument is that because it, it arrived in hu human beings, it can just arrive anywhere. Hmm. But that's that's not logical. Hmm. Um, and just because there is intelligence, there's intelligence in the way trees grow because they don't overgrow each other. They, they grow stably. They don't have too many branches, not enough roots or vice versa. Like they work themselves out. There is an intelligence there, but it's not an intelligence that's choosing consciously the length of its branches. Or how many roots it's going to grow. It it's just a factor of the of the expression. Um, but the, no, the, there's no amount of intelligence that you can condense from plants that is now going to start acting in a way that you're afraid it's going to beat you at chess. Not only beat you at chess, but somehow put us in cages yeah. in in some form of matrix scenario. So. Without a path of desire, how does even super intelligence develop agency of desire? That doesn't mean AI can't be dangerous. Mm, I was about to say that. Because you can give it an incentive and it can just not understand the implications of its pursuit of that incentive. And it can do it so efficiently that we didn't think ahead and we harmed ourselves. Exactly. It, it wouldn't know where to stop. It would only know the, the end goal. Mm -hmm towards that yeah so virtual consciousness does not exist hmm. um ai is not virtual consciousness it's virtual in it's virtual engagement with virtual intelligence virtual engagement with virtual intelligence and regardless of how intelligent the ai becomes there's never going to be an engagement with the intelligence because the engagement is not real hmm. the engagement is virtual Thank you for staying with us till the end of this video. If you want to check out more of my videos or more of my content with Rocco, more of my conversations with Rocco, you should go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And also hit the notifications icon to stay connected better. You can also consider becoming a part of our member community where the perks are ever evolving, just like the content. You can check it out via the join button that would be appearing next to the channel name. I can guarantee that there is a lot more content coming up on this channel which is actually applicable to our moment in time. Just like this video, we'll be talking about AI, politics, religion, spirituality, philosophy, relationships, how to solve your career issues and all the rest of it. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you stay connected and make sure you help us play the game better. I'll see you in the playground soon. Until next time, peace out.